Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Steve H. Let me see if I can find a call sign here. N0GWC. Now, he's talking a lot about Anuns. He's trying to uh, match to a random wire. Uh, antenna and he wants a nine to one anon. Um, I asked him several times for pictures of his anon uh, because the way he describes it, I think what he's making is a four to one anon. What we are looking at here is uh, the ARRL antenna. Uh, it's a one to 49 uh, uh, anon. Okay, so you take the square root of 49 and that's 7. So there's got to be 7 times as many turns on the secondary as there are on the primary. Now we start right here. Uh, let's see, no, here. Here are the uh, wires that come in. This is the hot wire here. Notice it comes up through here. Okay, goes back around and comes up through here and then attaches to the coax shield. So we have two turns. Now I've seen transformers with three turns. Um, I don't know, it would depend on the uh, core right here, this core. The problem with these cores is that they're not marked and the color uh, coding of the core is dependent on the manufacturer. Unfortunately, the manufacturer is not marked on here. There's no writing at all. So if you want to keep track of what the ballon is, you almost need to keep it in the bag in which it originally came. So two, now these are wired together, so that's on the secondary. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 to two is seven to one. You square that, you get 49 to one, and this is a 49 to one um, anon, okay? Now, that tells you a little bit about what we're doing here. I think what he was doing, since I couldn't get a picture of the thing from him, was he was reducing primary turns or something like that. Notice this is for HF. There are two here. You could also do three. All right. Now, let's look at his question a little bit more. What he was... Um, Shooting for was a way to use his 40 through 10 in fed half wave on 80 through 10. With the original transformer provided with the end fed half wave, I could not tune 80 meters. Well, it's an end fed half wave. Let's talk about end fed half wave antennas. This is an 80 meter end fed half wave. Okay, with a 49 to 1 uh, ballon. Yeah. 49 to 1 ballon here, and then your coax is coming down here. There is a spot for a counterpoise, but if you use a fairly long piece of coax, like 30 to 40 feet, uh, and this is connected to your lightning arrestor and ground before it goes into the shack, you won't get any of that uh, common mode current on the outside of the shield going into the shack because it's grounded right here. Okay, now uh, this 80 meter end fed half wave will work on 80, 40, um, some on 30, uh, 20 for sure, some on 17, 15 for sure, some on 12, and 10. Now, if you make this only 66 feet, you're actually about 60 feet because of the loading effects here. You're going to get rid of 80. You won't be able to do 30, 17, 12, but you can do uh, 40, 20, uh, 15, and uh, 10 over here. Okay, so uh, whichever way you want to do it. Now, this is sold by the league 
as being a 1 to 49 Anun for an NFED antenna. It's actually built by HF Kits, and it will work down to 3.5 megahertz. Although the piece of wire they give you is for 40, you could do this for 180, and I know that that is true because we have tried it. Okay, so you've got to keep into account the turns ratio here is critically important. Now, for an NFED half wave, you want a 49 to 1 ballon, okay? And, and the reason for that is because this is a coax. Or I'm sorry, this is a dipole antenna. The lowest impedance is at the middle. And it's somewhere in the range of 30 to 70 ohms, depending on uh, how high or low the antenna is. Okay, and then you've got the end. Now you could also feed it off-center, where you can feed it at the end. You feed it at the end, the impedance is quite high. With a 49 to 1, we're moving at 2250 ohms feed point, okay? And that will work very well for this. If you try a 9 to 1, okay, you're at 450 ohms. That's nowhere near enough to drive this antenna properly, and you're going to have tuning problems. If you drive it with the 49 to 1, on the bands that it works, depending on whether you make this 60 feet or 125 feet, uh, 65 feet, whatever, you have to, you tune on the bottom band, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to tune this for like 35, 50 or something like that. You tune that, and then you check the tuning on these other bands. If they tend to be high, you lengthen this. If they tend to be low, you uh, shorten it, okay? You've only got the one adjustment. That's it. And so you adjust that so that it will be okay on these other bands. Now, the impedance on these other bands should be such that your SWR is less than... 3 to 1. Now you say 3 to 1, well, that's horrible. Well, not really, because your uh, HF radio has a tuner inside of it and can get up to 3 to 1 and everything will be copacetic and that antenna will work across the entire spectrum. That's why these have become suddenly so uh, very popular. Okay? Now, in trying to read between the lines, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Um, what I was shooting for was a way to use my 40 through 10 and fed half wave on 80 through 10. The answer to that question is simple. It has nothing to do with the ballon. You just lengthen the wire. Okay, like I said, this will work 3.5 to 30, okay? Even though they only give you a wire that long, you can double it. How do I know that that works? Because I've done it with this very uh, ballon right here, and it works just fine. Uh, with the original transformer provided, I could not tune 80, obviously because of a very high SWR. No, actually, if you put the full 80 meter, it's like 132 feet, but because the ballon actually, it's coil, right? Uh, it provides some loading onto that so you have to shorten that until it actually works on that um, okay by using easy NEC I found that changing the 49 to 1 transformer for 9 to 1 would greatly I'm kind of curious how you did that on easy NEC because I don't know how to use easy NEC well enough I just know that this 49 to 1 for 40 meters works just fine if you just lengthen the wire. Okay, so um, I had to settle for tuning all the other bands as well because the lowest SWR was now in the 3 to 1 range. You're going to have to use the tuner to touch up anyway. Okay, and by the way, I also had to shorten the antenna wire a few feet to make it non-resonant. I don't understand why you would want to make it non-resonant. 
these antennas are in fact resonant antennas and uh, work fine resonant. Okay, so the bottom line here is I'm having trouble figuring out what you're doing because uh, 49 to 1 with uh, note the little capacitor there uh, should work uh, on 80 meters. It's just got two turns on the primary. I think three would be a little better, but it's got two turns on the primary and it works fine. Okay. And I get a pretty good low SWR on those. I did a video a while back that was about how to make that instead of 80 meters, 75 meters. And you can look that up. It just involves the addition of a capacitor midstream and, and it worked remarkably well. Uh, sometimes you can also do it with a little loading coil, but in any event, it worked fine. So the ideal balance for what you're doing is 49 to 1, or it's an un, -un actually, and should have two to three turns on the primary and then seven times that on the secondary. Um, and then you'll have a good antenna. You can do it as an auto transformer, you can do it um, as it's done here with a separate winding, uh, closely coupled. A lot of different ways of doing it, but the 49 to 1 should give you an 80 meter antenna that works just fine for under uh, 3 to 1 SWR. Okay. Now all the other uh, bands will be within the 3 to 1 if you do it right. So um, how you got down to a 4 to 1 un, -un to make that thing work, I really don't know. You would have really been pushing your tuner uh, way past the 3 to 1 SWR point. But be that as it may, it sounds like you have something that works for you, so go ahead. Uh, I would just wanted to say kind of, you know, in, in ending that the 49 to 1 Anun -un, or 1 to 49 Anun -un, uh, will give you an unfed half wave that'll work from 80 through 10. It'll work very nicely. Okay, so there you have it some ruminations about uh, various kinds of uh, Anun -uns for unfed half wave antennas. The idea is that the end of the dipole has a fairly high impedance, about um, 20. 500 ohms okay so the 49 to 1 now if you added an extra turn for the output it'd be a 64 to 1 so let's just stick with 49 to 1 you can get 49 to 1 um, 64 to 1 which is 8 a ratio of 8 a ratio 7 a ratio of 6 would be uh, let's see 6 times 50 300 300 to 1 so you've only got certain spots you can hit in there and uh, the NFED half wave, although a relatively recent idea in the last 10 years or so, is definitely uh, gaining in popularity as a great antenna. So there you have it. Now, um, please remember to participate in the monthly giveaway that we have. Also, look at the uh, chart that shows different ways that you can support this channel. Uh, note that we also sell a uh, small thumb drive that has my 10 most popular videos on it that you can use for club presentations and the like if you don't have good internet at your club site. Um, and different ways that you can help the channel. We also list all the patrons and I want to give a special thank you to the patrons. Uh, the patron revenue is now exceeding the Google advertising revenue, and uh, that's, that's great. That's wonderful. I really appreciate all of the patrons who support this channel. And until we next meet, 73.